Hey guys, my name is George and welcome to this new video tutorial. This is actually the first video of a new series dedicated to learning how to program in the Java programming language. So we're going to learn how to program using Java and this is going to be really interesting. So hope you guys uh, keep tuned uh, to this uh, series and let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I want to talk about is about the things that we will need before uh, getting to do some code. Uh, even though you can see the code over here, this is actually a really simple program in Java, you will need some stuff before actually compiling this code into an actual Java program. And that, guys, that is called the JDK. And the JDK is a little program, well it's not really a little program, but it's more like a library with resources that allow us to compile Java code, okay? This means that you can write some code using uh, any text editor or IDE for example, and if you want to transform this code into an actual program, you will need the JDK and the Java compiler, okay? So the installation process is not something I'm going to explain in this video. Um, that is basically because it's not the same process if you're using a Mac, a Windows, or Linux uh, machine, okay? So you can find that in this link over here in the Oracle website. Um, you can find the installations uh, instructions for your operative system, and so you can get the JDK up and running um, depending on what uh, operating system you are using on your machine, okay? So basically this is the first thing that you will need and something I recommend if you want to skip like this installation process, however I actually recommend not to do that because you will miss how to uh, the process of how, of how to install Java. Uh, you can download this bundle over here which includes uh, the NetBeans IDE and the JDK uh, in its latest uh, version. If you download this and you install it on your operating system, basically you will not have to worry about installing the Java development kit and deploying Java applications. So you can do that, however I recommend to do it the old uh, fashioned way, you can install this uh, manually follow following the, the installation instructions. So that being said, um, basically what this will do is that you will have uh, some um, uh, commands that will allow you to compile your code. Now for example let me show you, this is a really simple program in Java, this is uh, called the Hello World program which basically what it does is that it prints uh, on your console uh, the Hello World message which is, uh, which is this that you can see over here. Um, to compile that you will need to use some command that is called the Java C. Uh, okay? Java C is a program that compiles uh, Java code and translates it into a program that can be run by the Java runtime environment. And basically the Java runtime environment uh, might be already installed in your computer because basically it's like a standard. You know, uh, however, you do not have the Java runtime environment, you can uh, download it uh, also from this link uh, in, at the Oracle website. And basically, that is what allows us to run Java programs, not to develop them. So, basically, the JRE, which is the Java runtime environment, allows you to run Java applications, and the JDK, the Java development kit, allows you to create applications. So, those are two different things. Now, uh, I will, for example, compile this code over here. I'm on a directory called source. So, uh, over here at source, I will have, if I use an list command, I will see main.java. Okay, if you're on Windows, the command might be dir, which uh, is not something I have over here using Mac. Uh, so, ls to see the files, I will see the main.java file. And to compile this file, I will use the Java C uh, program and write main.java and remember that Java programs have uh, this is extension that is .java okay so if you see a .java file basically that is a Java program so don't forget that so I will run this code uh, this this uh, program I mean and basically we will see what files that we have over here and I will see this main.class uh, file and this main.class is the compiled result of uh, the main.java program that you can see over here. So this program has been compiled into a main.class file and I can run that file using the java uh, command. So java command for running applications so I will use java source.main and that is because my main 
uh, file is inside this uh, package over here. Basically, the package is a directory. Uh, so if I run this, I will see hello world, and this is the result of this program over here. So that is actually how a Java program looks like. And uh, well, I hope that this guys helps you to get started at Java. Uh, what you can do right now is to download an ID. I I can recommend NetBeans. It's not a, a bad ID. However, I would also like to recommend Eclipse and especially IntelliJ IDEA community version, which is the one that I am using right here. Okay, so this ID that you're seeing over here, this is called IntelliJ IDEA. I actually recommend this because uh, it has a really powerful uh, text editor tool, you know, for querying code. Uh, it has a really complete uh, code completion, and also it will suggest uh, when you're writing uh, code in a bad way or when you can actually have some mistakes or errors in your program. So, basically, with that being said, guys, I will end this video and we'll continue on the next one. So, if you enjoyed this, uh, if you enjoyed uh, this video, don't forget to click on the like button below. You can also subscribe to my channel and leave a comment that will always help me to you know make more videos and and such so see you guys later have a great day bye bye